everybody and welcome back to my channel subscription boxes and more with Michelle and what do I have for you today I have the craft and tea box and what is the craft and tea box well it's exactly what it sounds like it's a box that has a craft and it's got tea and so two things I really like a lot of course you know usually I drink coffee but I do drink some tea my husband's more of a tea drinker than I am but I do the craft, he drinks the tea, and we're both happy. I'm trying to get the box open. <laughs> Come on now. Oh, well, I can't open it. Why? Because it's taped. So that makes more sense, doesn't it? A few moments later. So, there's what we're looking at. What is it? Yay, it's craft and tea time. Put the kettle on, light a candle, and start to unwind so and then it's got their little logo sticker there and some beautiful blue tissue paper and there we go uh oh learn to knit dishcloths well guys I have no clue how to knit so unless this is very very easy instructions we're gonna have us a problem <laughs> with this craft I really I I can barely crochet a granny square and I don't know how to knit whatsoever um, so but it does give you an instruction book um, it tells you different stitches I guess guys I, I the likelihood of me making this is is slim to none maybe one of you will be lucky and win this in a prize in a future giveaway uh, or maybe I'll use it for something else I truly don't have the slightest clue how to knit um, here are nice pretty knitting needles I've never been disappointed um, this is my third box and this time I'm disappointed and not not because it's not a nice box but because it's something that I don't know how to do and I'm probably never going to I just I don't see myself learning to do it uh, because if I had somebody that knew how to my breath's falling out if I had somebody that knew how to knit that could help me that would help but I don't know anybody that knows how to knit uh, tea peddler little tea peddler Kyoto cherry rose green tea I don't know let's open that up and take a sniff and see what that's smells like oops wow that's coming right off the top it's so full uh it's coming straight out the top it smells like roses it smells kind of like perfume or soap or um i don't know if you can see down in there it's a nice looking tea but i don't know i don't know if my husband will like this one or not um I know I won't. I don't like like rose scented things or rose tasting things. Um, but he may like it. Okay, so thank you for choosing the craft and tea box. And tells you all of not your average self-care box. Now don't get me wrong. You can't beat some candles and a bubble bath for a self-care indulging night in. But we've really thought inside the box on this one. Self-care comes in all shapes and sizes, but clearly you agree that unplugging, using your hands and mind is another form of self-care. Both crafting and tea have been proven to have so many health benefits, both physically and mentally. Uh, crafting can give you time alone with your thoughts. It can reset your mind. It, can, it has also been known to help with anxiety and depression. Set aside 10 to 15 minutes just for you. Away from distraction, such as the television or your phone. Breathe in the aroma of the tea. Feel the warmth of the cup against your hands and just be present. Sam, owner uh, and founder. This month's craft. Learn to Knit Dishcloths by Gibson and Gray. Kit includes the following. Beginner dishcloth patterns for you to choose. Garter stitch dishcloth. Stockinette dishcloth. Seed stitch dishcloth, which is advanced. 
or basket weave dishcloth, which is advanced. Well, maybe I can figure out one of the ones that aren't advanced. I mean, I can try. That's all I can do. One set of US 7 4.5 millimeter bamboo straight knitting needles, full length or full learn to knit booklet, two balls of 100% cotton yarn and darning needle. This month's tea. This month's tea blend comes from Little Tea Peddler based out of Parksville, British Columbia. Kyoto, uh, Kyoto or whatever cherry rose green is fresh, smooth and excellent uh, with excellent depth and body. This Cher the cherry notes and subtle rose hints give this tea a wildly delightful character. Top tip from LTP. Use the stainless steel brewing basket style of infuser, which allows the most room for your leaves to stretch out and work their magic. All right, well, I don't know. Um, this is not my favorite box that I've ever gotten, but you let me know what you think. Um, maybe it will be if I can knit. I've always wanted to know how to knit. I've also wanted to be able to crochet more than just a granny square. But um, Here are the two colors of yarn. So we have a white and we have a gray. The darning needle is right here. It's a plastic darning needle. Lots of gray squiggly wigglies. And then our Gibson and Gray Learn to Knit book. Um, I thought it was just that little book, so luckily this one is under here, and so maybe the steps will be easy enough to follow that maybe I will actually be able to learn how to do it. And maybe if I have to, I can find a video in case that it tells you about casting on. And casting on is the process of putting in or putting the first row of stitches onto the needle. Make a slip knot. Well, that I can do. Place your slip knot on your left hand needle. Insert right hand needle into the stitch on the left hand needle. I don't know guys, <laughs> we'll see. But it does give you color step-by-step -step directions. So we'll see, I don't know. And also right now, um, I can't even crochet with my um, problems with my hands at the moment. So I don't know if I'll be able to do this, even if I wanted to, which I'm not saying I don't want to, what I'm saying is, I don't know how to, and I don't know that I will go through the pain of trying to do it with my hands like it is with it being something that I just, I truly don't know how to do. So I don't know. I don't know. Uh, do you know how to knit? Is it something you already know how to do? Is it something you've wanted to learn to do? Is it hard? Is it easy? I mean, I don't know. I'm... It's not fair to be disappointed. I mean, it's a great box. There's no, it's not fair to be disappointed because it's something I don't know how to do. The point is to learn a new skill, right? Except for it's also supposed to be relaxing and, you know, anxiety reducing. And it's causing me anxiety just thinking about trying to learn how to do it. Uh, I am a perfectionist. I'm somebody that if I can't do it, you know, really well, I, that gives me anxiety. Um, I'm trying to get over that, but I just don't know. And I don't like the smell of this. It really does smell like rose perfume. Um, that doesn't mean it won't taste good when it's brewed. It's just right now it's too strong. Uh, but my husband may love it. I don't know. Um, I'm not really interested in trying it. I might, but I'm very put off by the smell. It's like a, very cloying rose scent to me and rose scented things and it probably isn't fair to the tea either rose scented things tend to make me sick to my stomach um i love roses but i can't have them in the house for very long because if you know i can't like have a dozen roses and be close to them because the smell makes me sick and rose scented perfume makes me sick and things like, and rose soap and maybe maybe it's a perfectly good tea and i'm just very put off by the smell because rose makes me sick. Um, I don't know. <laughs> we'll find out, I guess. So, uh, craft and tea box. Please don't judge it based on my reaction to this. It, it's not fair. It's not fair to the box. Uh, it's not fair to the tea when I haven't even tried it. It's certainly not fair to the craft when I've not tried that either. 
Um, you would think I would be thrilled to death. I'm just... I'm just afraid I won't be able to do it, and therefore it gives me anxiety, the thought of it. Um, so anyways, let me know what do you think. Uh, is it a box that you would enjoy? Um, let me know in the comments. Uh, have you tried um, Craft and Tea uh, box? Have you not tried them? Have you not heard of them? I don't know. Let's just talk about it. And tell me, tell me not to be afraid of knitting. Um, I think it would be a wonderful box for somebody that um, has some skill or some body to help them or less anxiety about not being able to do something right. Um, yeah. That's that's my failing, not a failing on the box. Um, that is it's a problem that I have, and it's not, it's not the box's fault or, you know. Um, and please give me that big old thumbs up because you know that would really help my channel and please subscribe to my channel and please share my video with others so that maybe they might subscribe as well thank you for watching and for listening to me babble I, i'm sorry guys it's just not my best video um again not not the box's fault it's it's me it's see my anxiety is coming through uh anyway bye guys i'll see you again soon in another video